Welcome to quick guide to install .NET 5.0 SDK. The content of this video will be SDK as defined by Wikipedia. Determine install .NET SDK in your machine. Where to download .NET 5.0. How to verify installation of your SDK. As a bonus, we'll have the definition of what is LTS. Then we'll do a recap of what we learned so far. Software Development Kit or SDK as defined in Wikipedia is a collection of software development tools in one installable package. They facilitate the creation of application by providing tools such as compiler, debugger, and perhaps a software framework. Now let's proceed to install the .NET 5.0 SDK. Determine the .NET SDK installed in your machine, simply go to the command prompt and type in .NET double dash list dash SDKs. As you can see, I have here .NET 1, 2.1, 3.1, and so on. So currently, I don't have .NET 5.0. download .NET 5.0, simply go to .NET.Microsoft.com, click on Downloads. In the Windows tab, select .NET 5.0, which is the recommended one. Click on Download .NET SDK 64-bit. Okay, the download should initiate. If not, you can click here to download manually. As the installation process is fairly simple, I leave that up to you. To verify the installation of .NET 5.0 SDK, we'll go back to command prompt and type the .NET list SDKs. As you can see, .NET 5.0 is already in the list of SDK. As a bonus material, we'll discuss about LTS. LTS stands for Long Term Support Release. So I did a quick Google search and used .NET and LTS keyword and I land into this website. Currently, .NET Core 3.1 and 2.1 is under support level of LTS. They will end support around December 2022 and August 2021. Meanwhile, .NET 5.0 is under the current release so it's better choice to use LTS release because it has longer lifespan and you will not need to upgrade so frequently so to summarize SDK is a software development kit that enables us to develop .NET application you can use .NET double dash list dash SDK to list all .NET framework in your machine you can go to https.net.microsoft.com slash download to download the latest SDK. And it's better to choose LTS release as it have longer lifespan. Okay, that's all for this video. Don't forget to comment below for any additional questions you have or any topics you would like to be handled. Thank you and good day.